Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to show the right and also the wrong way of dry hopping your home brewed beer. So let's start with the wrong way and as we can see from this picture most of the hops that are involved in this are actually totally wasted because they're not coming into contact with the brew. The other thing to consider is that the only thing that we're interested in from the hops is the oil and we know what happens to oil when we add it to liquid. That's right, it goes directly to the top. For this reason, we want our hops to be added to the bottom of the actual uh, fermentation vessel. This way, the oil will actually gradually go through the beer uh, and it will end up on the top in the end, but uh, at least you'll get an even disbursement of the oils. And that's really important. So for this reason, it's important to actually add your hops to a bag or some sort of container so that they can actually drop to the bottom. So let's look at how we can house our hops for the dry hopping. Here we have what we call a hop sock. A uh, pretty simple thing really, you just throw the hops in, uh, tie the knot and there we are. I would however advise that you add something with weight to this. Uh, something like marbles work really nice, they're also very easy to sterilise and have clean. Here's something else that you could use, this is a muslin bag with a drawstring on the top. Uh, again, you'd want to weight this down with something like marble, something glass, uh, in order for it to sink down to the bottom. These are actually used for infusing teas, but they are really, really handy for dry hopping also. They're also really a lot easier to keep clean compared to hop socks and muslin bags. So for this reason, these are actually my dry hopping object of choice. You can buy these relatively cheaply, they come in all different shapes and sizes and weights. Depending on the weight of the ones that you end up getting, you will actually determine whether you actually need to weight them down with uh, some marbles. Uh, personally the ones I have are quite lightweight, so I do use marbles to uh, weight them down. Before adding your dry hops to your container of choice, it's very very important to actually make sure that the bag uh, is totally clean and also sanitary. So for this reason I'm actually going to boil mine after giving them a good clean. So as you saw previously in the pan I had a separator uh, and that will actually stop uh, anything from burning on the bottom. So what I'm going to do now, I've previously given these a clean up, I'm now going to put them into water and give them a good boil. So that's everything added to the pan now and I've uh, used a spoon to push everything down just to make sure that everything gets proper coverage in this boil. So now these are going to get a good boil for about 10 minutes. So I've now sanitized this bowl and I've put everything into the bowl ready for the next step. These have now been left to cool and I'm now going to put them into some sanitizer just to be doubly sure that everything's going to be good for this dry hopping. So they're now onto a plate which is of course uh, totally sanitary and I've got some marbles which I've actually put into some sanitizer. The hops are in each one. It's important to have plenty of room because these hops will expand and now the last part put the marbles in and secure the tops ready for the dry hop. So I've now added them to the fermentation vessel and the fact that you can't see them is a good thing. The time that you will add your dry hops does tend to vary from beer to beer style. Um, what's quite normal for something like an IPA beer for example is that you will put them in in the last days of the fermentation process before bottling. I personally from my own experience would not recommend dry hopping for any longer than seven full days. I tend to prefer a time of about three to four days personally, but again that will depend on what sort of effect I'm looking to give. If you do find that you add for longer than seven days, this will generally provide you with a grassy effect. Not many people enjoy it, but some do, so really it's down to the individual. So there you have it, I hope I've covered everything to everyone's satisfaction. If not, then please do uh, feel free to ask any questions on the YouTube channel. Uh, I do try to respond to everyone uh, in as good time as I possibly can. So yeah, drop me a line. If there's anything you're not sure about, I'm more than happy to help. 
So I do hope that you have found this video useful and enjoyable. If you did like the video, please do give me a like uh, on the YouTube channel. Uh, this helps me immensely. I have lots of new videos planned for the future of all different types. So if you'd like to be uh, kept informed of those updates, then please do subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks very much for watching, and until next time, happy brewing!